Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. Uh, today I'm going to show you something that you can do uh, to change the date format that you have. I'm going to have a couple of different examples actually on how you can do this. And uh, I think it's really important obviously when we import data oftentimes what we'll see uh, in Excel is that we run into the issue of the date showing up as a number as you see in column C here. So what we can do is there's a few different things like I said. If we go to um, the data, I'm sorry, actually straight off the home tab, we do have the ability under this number section to change the format for a particular, uh, for the cells that you've actually highlighted. So if I selected short date, I can actually do that. If we want to also select long date, for example, that's another way of doing it. If I just extend that out, you'll see that that is the long date uh, and that's how it's showing there. So this is a quick way of doing it is just accessing the number tab here, uh, not the number tab, but the number section under the home tab. So another way of doing this is if I select my entire column of data, uh, what I did there is I just selected the first cell, then I hit control shift down arrow, that brought me all the way down to the bottom. What we can do now is I can just actually type control one. Now that is the equivalent of right clicking and then going to format cells. So control one will actually do that in Excel. So now we're in the format cells section. Uh, you can of course use this date selection area uh, to select what type of date you want to, date type I should say you want to actually use for the cells that you've selected. And if you don't see it and it's not available, one of the cool things in Excel is you can actually use the custom formatting option here. And what I'm going to show you is we're going to actually remove all of that information there in the type field. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in my favorite format to tell the honest truth is actually the day and then the month showing as a short form of three characters. And then of course the year after that, and that would be the full year. So this is my favorite date format. So the cool thing is you can actually play around with this. You'll see in the sample, it'll show you exactly what your date is going to look like based off of what you've put down here. So if I want to put the full month, I'd put four M's there. You'll see that that turns out to the full month name. And then if I wanted to actually do, you know, the actual specific day, for example, we can do Sunday there. And then if I wanted to do all of the days, it would go to, you know, actually spell out Sunday. For example, we put the four, M's like that and then if I want to do a comma you could also do that and then we can do space and then put in day day dash so we can actually do it like this so we can actually tell exactly what day it is um, within our data set and if you want to do the same with your year you can also reduce that down to two characters just by putting in uh, a Y Y or just one single Y and then as soon as we go to three of course it actually updates to the full year so this is a really cool way of actually changing that now again I'm gonna take all of this off and I'm just gonna hit okay. So this is how I like to show my date typically because I can tell exactly what month uh, the date is specifically on and I can also tell what day it's actually on instead of mixing up the day as well as the month. So if I hit okay now, you'll see that that is updated every single date in my data set to show with a day, day, month, month, month uh, format type of thing. So that is one way of doing it. Now one other cool thing that I can, you can actually play with is if we actually had a number in this column so if we just change this data format back to number and we wanted to use what's called the text uh, the text formula we could actually select this value and then do the same thing as what I'm basically doing in the custom number format field and do day day month 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 dash year 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 and put that in quotations in the text field and it'll actually do that translation for you. And you can do that, again, you can you can play with the the day day or, or the DD, the MM and the YYY characters to get the exact uh, formulation that you want the date to appear in using that text formula. Anyway, I know this was a little bit long, but I appreciate you guys checking this out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave your comments below. I hope I didn't miss anything. I appreciate you checking it out. Thanks.